Yo, what is going on, Dank fam? It is your boy, Dank Wheelie. I'm smiling so hard right now. This is my first ride ever outside of the country in the United Kingdom. Got my man, Zach, out here on the freaking MV Agusta Special Edition 800RR Dragster. Spoked wheels. Can you guys believe this? The bike that I'm on today is a 2020 MV Agusta F3. And people, I've been dying to ride this bike since years and years ago when I see my first one. This is an Italian masterpiece, people. Uh, they come in an F4 and the F3. The F3 is going to be your 800cc. And like I told you guys, we're doing a photo shoot on these MV Augustas. But today is Monday. We're going to be doing the photo shoot Wednesday and Thursday. So I have two extra days to get some time on this bike before we have to get to business. And uh, Mr. Zach over here, one of Rock's editors, is actually on beautiful limited edition dragster 800 rr both of these bikes are 2020 straight from italy mv augusta went ahead and delivered them so we're going to be very nice with them um, but these things are beautiful guys like this thing's got quick shifter traction control brembo brakes some very nice upgraded forks there's not a whole lot to say about it besides the thing is beautiful the tri-tip exhaust is a signature for mv augusta i was planning on doing some research on this bike but uh i didn't get a chance trying to post yesterday's video but uh, we're just going to ride it today and take our time. My first time on UK roads, everything's completely opposite of America. So we're just going to take her easy today. And then uh, throughout the week, we're going to be riding these bikes more and uh, getting more used to them. But don't take me down the wrong way, man. I just went ahead and set my GoPro up too on this rental helmet. Shout outs to Rock getting me all geared up while I'm over here. Didn't have to fly with a helmet, which is nice. So start up, you got to hold the uh, clutch in. Oh, okay. Wow. So this is a 75th anniversary of MV Goose was established 1945. Super fresh. You got the quick shifter right here. Single sided swing arm people. This is nice, nice, nice. Oh, and these bikes are super thin too. Like look how thin it is. It feels like a little 300. So we got sport, you got traction control, ABS. ABS is at one, traction control is at three. Oh, wow, this is really happening people. My God. First time in the UK. It's so weird riding on this side of the road. Oh my gosh. This bike sounds so unique, man. It's nice to be riding with a local my first time on these roads because I am super sketchy about making the wrong turn, going down the wrong roads, or just ending up somewhere I don't want to. That's a nice looking Jag over there. Say like the cars that are built over here look better than the ones in America. That thing is so fresh. So right here you have your um, your settings. You can go ahead and uh, shift through the settings and whatnot. You got your traction control, your lap times, ABS, quick shifter you can turn on and off, uh, your clock settings, and then you got all your mileage right here. 410 kilometers. So this bike has, I don't know, around 600 miles I want to say. Uh, we're right in the middle of uh, after work traffic. It's four o'clock over here. Sun's about to go down soon, but I've been editing and uh, setting up my helmet with the motovlog set up. All right. I want to crack on this quick shifter a little bit, see how she feels. Man, first gear is long on this thing. Over here in the UK, you have a bunch of different levels of classes that you take in order to work your way up in CCs. We're a lot more privileged in America as far as being able to ride these bigger CC bikes. This being an 800cc motorcycle, it takes years of uh, riding experience over here to be able to ride a bike this big. 2020 MV Agusta in the UK, is this real life? <laughs> Oh shit, the dreaded roundabout. Pray for me. <laughs> oh 
right now. Woo! Oh, we are coming up a little bit. Wow, this thing is so nice, people. Definitely a totally different bike than anything else I've ridden. The sound alone is really nice. Nice. That's next on the list, man. That bike is calling my name. Woo! The BMW S1000 getting it. I keep having to like think to myself the way traffic's flowing when we're turning on these new roads, which way to look. Best bet's just to look left and right. When you put yourself in a, a new area like this where the roads are completely different, traffic, signals, everything, you gotta leave yourself more room for judgment because split second decisions are gonna take longer than a split second when you're trying to uh, weigh out everything that's going on in a new environment. Wow. Look at that view. <laughs> Dude! Oh, that is amazing. What do you think of these things? The bikes? Yeah. Amazing. I love the sound of this thing. This yeah, it's like... Okay. Yeah, it's like... It's, it's similar to all the other models, but it has its own little unique touch. Yeah. The front end feels so light on that one. Yeah, same as it same feels same. like a 300. Yeah, you kind of gas a little bit. It's like a little shaky, man. But I, oh, no, it's a lovely riding position. I have not ridden bikes. So yeah, me, it feels like. yeah. These are usually like super comfy, especially with these wide bars, like having bigger arms. So nice. Look at this view, people. Wow, it's probably like one of the best views around here, huh? Yeah, so I thought it was pretty good because this was like the best view of Scotland here. So like this is where the town that uh, I grew up from. Wow. I'm over on the wrong side. A good old Zach here to help me out. Wow! Jeez Louise! Gears on this bike are much longer than I expected, which is awesome. 15,000 RPMs this puppy revs out to. Yikes! Could you imagine putting an exhaust system on this thing? But weather is actually doable around here. It's not terrible. Make sure my passport didn't fly out. MV's got their logo on the grips, the throttle housing, clutch cable everywhere. It's really windy today. I hope the audio is okay. I literally plugged in this mic and GoPro on this new uh, helmet I'm borrowing for the week. Didn't get a chance to test it out, but. We'll see by the thumbs down in this video. <laughs> Gotta love traveling and seeing all these different views. I try to be as thankful and grateful as I can about these experiences that I get to have and the biggest perk of it is being able to share it with you guys. I was surprised to see how many people are from the UK um, that followed my channel when I started telling you guys I was gonna be over here. So many people started hitting me up. So if you guys are from the UK, go ahead and drop a comment now. I wanna see where my UK fam's at. I'm starting to freeze. <laughs> I need some better gloves. Shout out to Volta Supply in the UK, but boy, are they not warm. Volta Supply in the UK, baby. Wow, it's nice little neighborhoods. Oh, some of these bumps are not your friend. It sucks when you have to ride behind somebody. Cause sometimes you just get all them rocks kicked up at you. Look at that, a Suzuki dealer not selling bikes. So the clutch on this bike's definitely a little bit more challenging than your normal Japanese bike. Throttle is super, super nice. And I like the fact that even though this is a fancier high-end bike, uh, this clutch is actual cable system versus this bike up here, which is a hydraulic clutch. I wonder how fast the cop cars are over here. Matter of fact, any fun facts about the UK that you guys want to drop, leave in the comments, because I'm really curious about this area. Everything is totally different. And it's just a really interesting area. Everybody that's locals to this area, they're probably like, no, nah, it's not that interesting. But first time over here, man, I'm just soaking everything up. I'm so glad I got someone to ride with though. I love the little zigzags in the road. They, I was asking locals if they know what they're for, but they didn't have an answer. And my man Zach is that guy right here. Originally when I met Rurock, him and Ben flew out to Florida and uh, delivered my helmet. We are coming latest for it. It's 
Uh, it said just for ladies? Oh, so you just sit out here and rev it up. <laughs> What's up? So this is a, a college just for ladies apparently. So you basically just sit out front on your Envy Agusta and rev it up one time. Oh, a little Subi. I <laughs> just like revving it. It's, it's so fun to rev. <laughs> yeah, I really have nothing bad to say about this bike besides the fact that it's totally different. And you gotta love it, man. This is why I love doing these test rides. You think you know pretty much all the bikes and then you ride something totally different and it just opens your world up. Not to mention this scenery, man. Like, my mind is blown right now. I hope you guys are digging that we're in a whole nother area because this is such a blast. Oh, Scooter Gang. Okay. Okay. You say what? You gotta be on your P's and Q's, man. London, apparently, uh, it's a good area to get your bike stolen. We prepared for this. We've been in Miami several times. Oh, Ferris wheel. Nice. Look at that purple building, baby. Like, really, you can stay in first gear for a hot minute on this bike. For 800, man, it feels like a thousand cc's rev range. Love how spaced the gears are. Oh, man. I think we're going that way. This is a hell of a loop right now. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. Man, I'm just taking it easy because I know that we're going to be riding this thing on a closed track. And the cool thing about the track we're going to be riding on is that they designed it to look like normal streets, which is really, really cool. Is this, this legal? Is that getting gangster on me? Yeah, so when you're riding an MV and you're uh, rolling from a stop, I would say uh, don't be too graceful with the throttle. Give plenty of throttle when you're rolling away um, or else that clutch starts to kind of hop around a little bit. That's the only thing I've noticed with these bikes. Other than that, the handling's great. The power is very, very nice on this thing. It's got plenty of torque. On um, the top end, I haven't had a chance to uh, kind of break into considering where we're riding at, but uh, man, I'm a torque guy myself. So as long as you got some punch off the gate for me, I'm happy. Oh my God. I might be blowing the fork seals off these bumps, man. When you have ABS on a bike and you smash the brake pedal, it like pulls the brake pedal back up. Like you got like a robot telling you, no, nah, don't hit that brake that hard. I think we got so much privilege over in the States, especially Florida, being able to just take a two-day class, get your endorsement, and literally hop on any bike that you want with zero experience besides a two-day class. Um, and on top of that, you don't need insurance if you buy a bike outright, only um, if you're financing one and you need one per the uh, financing company's standards. But man, it's like when you work your way up the, the, the ranks, um, over here getting your endorsement and the different levels of the endorsement it seems like when a guy can finally ride an 800 cc bike he's literally ready to ride this bike it's not like he's riding a bike outside of his limits because he's gradually worked his way up in cc's i think that's pretty cool myself i started on ninja 500 but i would need years of riding if i was over here starting out on a bike like that even if you had 10 years of riding experience and you're 18 years old it doesn't matter you have to be a certain age limit as well in order to ride these bikes there's a lot to it guys it's kind of backwards here the lights are red and you stop and then when they turn yellow that means it's about to turn green oh, it's so cool riding over here people even if it's a boring ride i'm having so much fun all right one well, nice rip for you guys My fingers are completely frozen. But it's not as cold as I anticipated. I thought it was gonna be like some next level cold I couldn't prepare for. But it's not bad. Oh, that bike's next, man. I can't wait to ride that thing. What do you guys think of this MV, man? I know we're not able to rip on it too hard yet, but uh, just a nice little taste test, man. I'm digging it. Let's hear the horn. <laughs> oh, look at that. So you turn the power button to mess with the engine map. Hold it down to go to the settings and then, then tap it to cycle through. Sport, rain, custom, and normal. I wonder what custom's for. Probably the wheelies. It's my first pint, I gotta film it. <laughs> first pint with the boys. Look at this place, pretty sick.
Yes. What's that? That's where they bake the beer. They bake the beer over there? Damn, they, they got the brewery right in the restaurant. My man got the massive dong. <laughs> oh my gosh, my man's a vegetarian now. <laughs> my second pint, baby. What'd you get? What'd you get? The apple cider? I actually didn't know for the um, American pale ale. Oh man. <laughs> Making me feel at home. Ooh, got the bacon on top. Fish and chips tomorrow.